Hi, I'm Gina Holden. This is my Toro photo shoot. Welcome. Fill out the top a little more. Here's some cutlets. <laughs> You're doing pretty good. <laughs> oh darn, I have to try another one over here. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. You, I just finished Harper's Island and I was in the same clothing for like five months. Oh my god, fashion. So like, oh my god, fashion. <laughs> I mean, they were great. The coat, the overcoat that I had was nice. Yeah. But there's only so much you can love the overcoat for five so months. only so much you can do where you Every day. <laughs> So today on set we had Gina Holden, wonderful woman, very talented actress. Um, she's been on certain things like Harper's Island, Smallville, she's in Final Destination 3, and uh, a lot of work, really talented, really talented girl. Yeah, bam. Amy and I are very talented prop stylists. We talked about having really overblown, ambiguous spaces so that Gina's character illuminated each set and for her own personal character to take charge of each moment. The sets were also very overblown and they had a sort of dreamlike quality to them. So for the first look, um, I was really drawn to these really cool vintage tiles from the 60s. They were this really nice green color with a lot of texture and they added for a really nice foundation uh, to start the shoot off. We also used this beautiful dress from Andy Tan, he's a Montreal designer. And it was very shapely, but wasn't too revealing. It, it left a lot to the imagination, which uh, I think was really sexy. Really nice. uh, I know. Yeah, I feel the same way. This is awesome. This is the life. For the second shot, Amy and I stumbled upon this really cool door with all this paint peeling. The door was perfect because it added for a lot of nice texture. The door also gave her a really fun prop to play with and she was able to move and curve her body with the door holding onto the handle and that one was really sexy as well. So for the third look, which is probably my favorite look, she was standing on the top of this ladder in this beautiful Donna Karen dress. Once Gina got on top of the ladder, she just totally took over and her, she became so statuesque. The ladder also allowed us to see the true beauty of the dress, the way it fell. It also showed off her legs really nicely, her beautiful long legs and just accentuated her whole body. And she got really into it. She felt, she felt that one. I think we all did. We all kind of felt that one on set the most. You just been yeah. yeah, behind the scenes, that. people, behind yeah. the scenes. <laughs> I think also that for Gina to be up there that high with this amazing dress offered her a lot of strength and power in that set, um, which I think came through the photos quite well. Oh my god. I could love that. Are you kidding? That is gorgeous. Yeah, really nice. Oh. I'm so excited. Okay, let's Me keep too. Going. Mm -hmm. Open. For the fourth shot, we had her in this really cool Fendi bolero and played a lot more with movement and poses and she felt a lot more free, she had a lot more to play around with and move with. And there was also a lot of really nice contrast between the shutters and the wardrobe, um, tied in really well. That's not me, no way. Put your hands up, everybody likes. <laughs> <laughs> had to do the hair flip. <laughs> So having such a talented actress like Gina on set was such a pleasure. Gina looked stunning and very sexy in all the images. She was so professional, she came in with the best energy, she wanted to work, she wanted to collaborate, she wanted to kind of feel the artistic vibe and she embodied all the characters we gave her and just showed how professional and how talented she really is. And it made for what I feel was probably one of the top Toro shoots we've done so far. Yeah.